And there was certainly overwhelming opposition out here tonight. The developer did say he could come back with changes, but council said they'd heard enough. These houses are our homes. These subdivisions are our neighborhoods. These schools are our schools. This is our city. Impassioned pleas from Blue Springs homeowners tonight at a packed city council meeting that also filled two overflow rooms. Since 1997, seven acres of land north of I-70 at Adams Dairy Parkway and Duncan Road has been zoned for office space. But developers asked the city for it to be rezoned to mixed-use plan development with hopes of building 360 high-density apartments with 21,000 feet of retail space called the crossings at Adams Dairy. Because from our perspective, it's like this. We're playing a poker game, okay? We all know the rules. We sit down, we make our bets, and then an outsider comes in. We want to change the rules. Developers said the apartments would be upscale and the complex would be unlike any other in the city. The neighbors expressed concerns about traffic, safety, and overcrowded schools. One of the things I'm big on is having development here in Blue Springs. We need to have the people that come in. We need to have the businesses come in and things like that. It needs to be the right development. The developer offered changes. Do I think I still have a legitimate, viable project at 330? I do. Does that help solve the traffic problem it does? All right. Does that help solve the density of dust? But council listened to the dozens in opposition, offering no second on the motion, allowing the project to die without a vote. So I pose, so I suppose now the question really moves to what's going to happen to this property that really serves as a buffer between all of the shopping and restaurants on the south side of the highway and those homes on the north. John, the city staff pointed out that it's been zoned like this for 25 years and no one's ever really wanted to build there.